What's going on everybody? It's Robinson, another prep update. <laughs> Wanted to get this film now, so I'm not too far behind. So, at the end of last week, uh, let's see, today is the 23rd, 27th, 21st. It's around April 20th, which was last Friday. I hit an all-time low of 172 pounds. That's with um, my carbs being at 140, my protein being at 220, and my fats being around 50. Um, with that being said, I sent progress pictures to my coach and decided where we're going to go from there. So, it is kind of weird that I'm back to uh, pretty much my 2014 stage weight. We'll get to that in a minute. However, um, we're going to take a calculated risk here. Uh, I'm not completely satisfied with my conditioning yet. I think we're close. I think we're very close, but I'm just not fully satisfied with how my legs are looking. Um, my quads have good separation in them. I think once I get carved up, tanned up, they'll pop a little bit more. However, in my hamstrings, especially my right one, this is the odd thing about my body. I don't know if I've ever discussed this before. My left side is by far more grainy uh, and striated than my right side. However, my right side is larger than my left side. Don't know why. Um, left leg, it makes sense because of the, the knee injuries and I've had a lot of trouble recovering in my left leg to you know get back to full strength and I don't know if it ever will but I keep you know I make sure that I do lunges and everything else that my left leg does have to work by itself and it's just not being uh, ignored in, in that any sense of the word so it's just odd that my left hamstring is popping through and whatnot my left leg even looks more striated my right quad looks pretty separated but my right hamstring is like kind of there but not entirely and me I'm nuts and, and crazy and whatnot but the main thing is I also don't just see this from the gym bro side I don't see this from the um, you know being a competitor and thinking I'm the best I'm seeing this with judges eyes and I know what they're looking for um, so I want to make sure that um, I you know I'm not just a hair off because a hair off can cost you. It can cost you first. Now I'm not saying I'm going to get first. I'm not going to say I'm going to get second. But nonetheless, I just want to bring the best I have to bring and let let the you know, the rest be left to the judges at that point. Whoever else shows up. So we're taking a calculated risk here. There's a little while left to go. Um, where we did the refeeds this weekend, we actually upped them. So Saturday and Sunday, I had 330 grams of carbs. And now today. We're gonna drop it down to 125 grams of carbs. Um, still by far a higher amount of food that I've ever eaten going into a show at this point. Um, by far the best amount of conditioning I've had going into a show at this point with, you know, I think it's like three weeks. Um, and that way we can ensure that I bring the conditioning. However, we also wanna make sure that I don't start losing uh, my, my size, which is important because I look way bigger now um, at 172 pounds than I did at 171 pounds in 2014. Now, why am I bringing up this weight constantly at 171 versus 172 and where I'm going to end up? Because as a competitor, you know, after spending uh, three years in an off season, bulking extremely slowly and if you follow my social media you see how lean I stayed even when I was like 195 197 I, I was still pretty damn lean um, which most people aren't uh, and my goal was to stay within about you know 20 pounds of stage weight and I really thought this year uh, this season I'd come back I'd probably be like 174 175 and dialed in but it's not um, and I'm not letting it mentally get to me, which a lot of people do. They, they get so wrapped around, well, when I put this much time in, I should add this much muscle, this is how I should come back. I don't really care. Uh, I'm really just focusing on bringing my best look. Well, how do I look? Not what the scale says on the mirror. How do I look? Am I, is my symmetry good? Do I look large? Do I not look flat? Do, am I striated? Um, sorry, this camera always wants to pop out. Um, 
uh, are my hamstrings in? Are my quads separate? Am I seeing feathering? Am I seeing all the necessary things that I need to see that I know the judge is going to be somewhat looking for um, and maintain the muscle mass, which is the main thing. I don't want to diet too hard, you know, I end up coming in, let's say, 169, but then I look like I withered away and then I have nothing left. I'd rather stay, you know, two pounds heavier, let's say, and be dialed in. So let's say all this works and 171 ends up being the weight um, and I'm dialed in at this point. What are we going to do from there? Well, that's going to be interesting because I don't know if we're just going to ride the same macros and keep doing the high carb refeeds on the day, uh, you know, during the next week. And then the following week going into the show, maybe starting to do a light carb up to get ready for Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how I look by the end of this week and we'll figure that out from there. Um, in terms of cardio, it's staying the same. We're leaving the two sessions in of a miss of a half hour. No more, no less. That's what we're going with. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about the mentality that goes into this. Uh, a lot of people think I have an iron will or I'm not this, I, that, I, that I'm some sort of machine. I'm not. Listen, I'm human all the time. I have the same doubts, concerns, um, sometimes the lack of willpower. But I keep reminding myself that I did this for a reason and I don't allow myself to spiral out of control. Um, even last night, uh, you know, I had these high carb days. It is very easy for me to say, ah, screw it. What's, you know, 50 more grams of carbs and, and go all out. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of self-control and it's not easy. There are days where I'm like, screw this. Why am I doing this? I don't need to be doing this. I have other things that I need to worry about that are, are of a high priority. Um, why am I even comp you know, doing a competition? Um, it, it doesn't prove anything to anyone. I don't need to prove anything to anyone. I've already done this four times. I've already done pretty well four times. Um, I'm not making any money doing this. In fact, it cost me money doing this. Uh, I'm not getting sponsored. And even if I did, it wouldn't be making any, me any millions of dollars. Uh, I'm lucky if I get a free tub of protein a month. You know, it's just like, why bother? And the main thing is I got to remember why I started all this is to just show that if I fully commit to anything, um, that it will pay off in the end. Um, being able to do this with everything else I've got going on um, really helps me to have good discipline, to learn how to schedule, also to learn how to adapt, understand that, you know, life is going to constantly throw challenges at me and then I'm going to have to learn how to handle them one way or another. Um, I have responsibilities to my job, I have responsibilities to my family, I have responsibility to my, my training clients, and I've got to make it all work and happen and still do what I need to do. So I know I make this sound like very nonchalant or boring or easy. Um, it isn't. I just constantly have an ongoing dialogue in my head of focus, focus. You'd be surprised what you can do if you could just stay focused. And it doesn't matter how tired you are or beat up you are or if your shoulder hurts or your knee hurts or your food's getting low and you're getting a little foggy. Um, you got to learn to focus. And a lot of times when I'm lifting, I'm you know, people think that I'm like, they don't hear me say anything, but they must think I'm like some sort of egomaniac or I'm just mad all the time or something. But I'll constantly look in the mirror or have my headphones on. And in my head, I'm going, okay, another set, another set, one more set, one more rep, focus. And I just keep rerunning that through that. Or I'm thinking of raising my hands and like, you know, like some boxers or fighters do, raising my hands being you know, the judges chose is that I was number one. And anytime I'm thinking about quitting or cutting a corner, I'm going, your competition is going to beat you because you cut that rep. The competition is going to beat you because you cut that minute. The competition is going to beat you because you went that you know you went you didn't follow the diet exactly to the T. So those are the things that I'm just constantly running in my head to get me in the mindset at all times that everything I'm doing is what is either going to help me bring the best that I've got, or it's going to give me that excuse that's going to allow me off the hook. That's going to allow me not to have the best that I've got, and then when I lose on stage because of it. I'm gonna be pissed. See, I can lose on stage if I bring my best knowing I gave it everything. I'll lose, I'll be pissed if I lose on stage because I knew I cut corners and I could have come in a little bit tighter. 
right, guys. Hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I'll talk to you later.